Mia, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. You too. So you want to learn more about access control systems? Yes. I run a lab, and we need a better way to make sure that only the right people have access to the hazardous chemicals. We're thinking of using a biometric system, but I'm not sure which kind is best. Well, there are trade-offs with every biometric system. Some don't work as well if you're wearing gloves, for example, or have eye damage, or are wearing a mask. So it really depends on who's going to be using it. I see. I've also read that some systems don't work equally well for everyone, especially facial ones. How would I make sure ours isn't biased? So when it comes to bias, people often lump all facial analysis systems together, detection, recognition, and classification. While they are interrelated, they differ in how bias can occur and how often. You'd want a facial recognition system to make sure the person trying to access the chemicals is supposed to. Researchers have made a lot of progress on reducing error and bias in facial recognition, but there are still some technical things you should consider to make sure you're choosing a good system. The first one is image acquisition, or how it collects an image of someone's face. The important thing here is to have a high-quality camera. For example, it needs to adjust the lighting properly for people's skin tone to prevent bias. Next, there's the image gallery, which is the database of everyone in your lab that the image would be compared to. We can give you some tips on how to make sure everyone's headshot is high enough quality. And the final thing is the algorithm that's used for image matching. You need one that's been trained on a diverse enough set of people that it can tell everyone apart, even if they have similar demographics. Hmm. But how do I know if the algorithm is good enough? You should make sure it's gone through independent testing. All our systems use algorithms that were tested by the National Institute of Standards and Technology or the Department of Homeland Security and had low error rates across all demographic groups. No system is perfect, but if you follow all these steps, you can make sure that yours works well for everyone in your lab. Great, let me talk to my team, but I think we will go with one of your facial recognition systems. Sounds like a plan.